In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the radius feature for control points in Edit Curve and OpenVSP. Now, we'll compare two different methods of trying to recreate a radius in something like a simple rounded rectangle using Edit Curve. So in the first method, you can see that this rounded rectangle has been rebuilt using a cubic spline. And so with three points defining the flat side and another control point in the middle, you have to use these strengths and tangencies to try and recreate that radius or that curve around the corner. And so rather than being able to come in and say that you want to have some type of radius in here, you're restricted to being able to have to do the math to understand what that radius should be using the spline. Well, it turns out there is, in fact, a better way. So with newer versions of OpenVSP, there is now a radius parameter. And so it's understood that when you want a physical radius in this corner, you can simply choose that cross section and choose a radius. So let's say that one's a little bit too much. Let's back that off to 0.25, make it a little bit sharper. And you can see that I did, in fact, nudge this a little bit. So we're going to put that back to 0.5. 0.5, right where it needs to be. So each of these radii can be adjusted down here in the table, no problem at all. And something that I also want to point out is that we have the width and height scaled, right? So the radius parameter associated with each one of these points is a dimensional value, or it's relative to the scale. So if I come up to this, and you can see that we've got this radius. Let's change this to something like 0.5, okay? So this is not 0.5 in coordinate space. It can't be, because this whole thing would be a 0.5 radius. It would be a, a semicircle or a quadrant on this side. But what it's doing is it's using a 0.5 dimensional radius in this corner based on the width and height. So if we come in and start to scale this a little bit, you can see that that radius on the screen is remaining the same. And if we zoom in, in fact, that is a dimensional radius. And so it's important to point out that we were able to exactly recreate that rounded rectangle shape using very few control points and a dimensional radius as opposed to losing the fidelity and losing the control that we really wanted in that corner. So you can imagine if you have a cross section where what you really want to do is add a fillet between those two straight lines or two curves, you can do that now with the radius parameter. And another interesting feature that I'd like to point out, let's bump up the width a little bit and zoom out some. We can drag this around and notice that it is in fact maintaining that radius even, even for non-orthogonal lines. And in fact, if we drag this and reverse it, that radius can be applied in the other direction as well. So OpenVSP knows that these two lines are intersecting at a different angle now, and it applies the radius as if it's an inside corner as opposed to an outside one. So if you're trying to do fillets and do blends and things like that, where you want to blend this shape in and give it a specific radius, you are more than welcome to do that using these parameters. So yet another really incredible feature of the edit curve. 